Hey, Eddie from the Batcave here. How's everybody doing this week? I want to show you my pulls, kind of heavy. Um, I have a mail call, which I'm excited about. And who is John Walker? Let's find out. First off, Batman Superman number 16. There we go. Artwork inside, I think it's Ivan, Ivan Riaz. Uh, there is a variant cover that my boy Jay Christopher was talking about on the Comic Command Center. And um, pretty slick. I didn't have the option to get it because I already pre-ordered this one. And plus, I already had a whole bunch of books to begin with. But that cover, the very one, is very nice. It reminds me of the old style drawing and stuff like that. So that was Batman Superman number 16. Batman Detective 1034. Here we go. Rob, what does it say? Robin. Featuring the storyline with Robin in there somewhere. There we go. Batman Black and White. Issue number four. Covered by Gabriel Altertoro, I hope. There we go. I'm enjoying this series, little short stories throughout the way. New from Marvel Comics. Carnage, Black, White, and Blood. AJ, I hope you're watching. This is kind of your line of story with um, Carnage being all crazy. There we go. I got the Patrick Gleason variant. I mean, variant there. And I got the Inyuk Lee, right? Excuse me. The main cover. kind of like this. It's pretty sweet. I read this before I came on. And, um... First two chapters of the story was good. First one's like a love story. Second, Western. The third, I'm, I'm on the fence on that one. But, wasn't bad at all. Wasn't bad. Um, I give it a B. Okay. All right. Amazing Spider-Man number 62. There he is. Continue with that storyline there. I normally don't buy Black Panther, but Black Panther number 24, to honor the ladies of Marvel, or it was International uh, Women's Day in March, I got Shuri. There we go. A beautiful young lady there, huh? All right. From last week, the Amazing Spider-Man number one with um, the Venom storyline going on. Last week, his books were damaged at Bob's and they replaced it with good ones. There we go. Savage Avengers number 19. I got the Mike Cho variant, Black Widow. Look how beautiful that is. Also, Thor, number 13, with Mike Cho. Kind of love, I'm digging the covers. I read this before I came on, and it was good. The storyline continues with Prey, and guess who's back? All right. Continue on with the uh, the month of celebrating the ladies. Iron Man, number, what number is this? I don't know. Seven, Patsy Walker. It's pretty, huh? I also got Spider-Woman, number 10, variant. Kind of like that cover there. It's pretty sweet. Okay. And uh, also I picked up is Captain America 273. This is from another, another store. Mason. All right. And John Walker. Who is John Walker? U.S. agent. He's the Captain America that's been played now for uh, the new Winter Soldier Falcon series that's coming on Disney. And John Walker was a former Army vet. Um... He wanted to be somebody, I guess. And so he ended up with some powers by the power broker. He teamed up with somebody like that. And he first appeared in Captain America 323 as the Super Patriot. He, he had a different belief than the captain. He was more patriotic or more meaner in patriotic, where, Cap, he, where he considered Captain America soft. Soft. Anyway, um... That was issue 323 that he first appeared as Super Patriot. Then he later became Captain America in issue 333, if I'm correct. If I'm not, please correct me. And um, and that's how it starts. So when you see him on the TV show that's on Disney, that's what's going on. He's a former Army vet, got the powers from the power broker. Um, there's more details about him. Uh, you can look it up in the Marvel website there. But that's who John Walker is. He's presently, presently as I know, as the U.S. agent. Okay? All right. Mail call from Amorpheus Inc. Comic. They even gave me a little trading card by Sean Maurer, I think it is. The last run. And look at that. Inyuk Lee. I hope. Yeah. There we go. Got that. I was very excited when I received this today. Or a couple days ago. All right. That's it. That's all I got for you guys. Um, I told you it was a heavy week for Marvel especially. Anything you guys want to talk about, you give me a holler, you let me know. As always, from the Batcave, this is Eddie Nieves. See ya.